scouting report today, the incredible wizard from Westwood, California, John Wooden from Indiana. In fact, he's back home. This is where the start of his great basketball success began in South Bend at Central High School, and now 88 consecutive wins. Did you and your fondest dreams ever believe this could happen? No, I didn't feel, I guess, Dick, that any team could ever run up that many uh, uh, consecutive wins. Where will it all end? Well, I just hope we can keep playing well, and uh, when we're beaten, we're beaten. Uh, we're no longer playing for the winning streak. We're just trying to do the best we can, and uh, hope that that'll be good enough, that the, uh, the game in which we're playing at that time uh, will turn out all right. Will Bill Walton start? I, I will not decide uh, for certain until after we've warmed up. Good luck today, Coach. Thank you, Dick. John Wooden, the winningest active coach in college basketball on our scouting report. And now with the headmaster of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, Digger Phelps, here's Rod Huntley. Thank you, Dick. All right, Digger, you've been shooting your mouth off. You've been going good. You're winning. You're undefeated. You're two in a nation. you got a tough game today. Well, I, Rod, we're really happy to be here in this game today. We know it's going to be a good game. Digger, your club has certainly improved in the last couple of years, but I see your wardrobe is still the same. You know, I don't know who looks cuter, either the Jolly Green Giant or you. <laughs> In all sincerity, you've got a tough game, no question about it. This has got to be the highlight of your career, coaching here at Notre Dame. They have the great Bill Walton. He shoots 62% from the field. John Shoemate, who last year hit 20 consecutive field goals at the NIT, will be going against him. They certainly must be the key of the game. Well, I, I think everybody's going to be keyed up in this game. I think there's too many other players that really can play the game. UCLA has great depth. Uh, hopefully our improvement will be on the offensive boards or outside shooting, and I think this is what we have to do in order to win this game, especially against UCLA. And they are the national champions, and it's just a great honor for us to be right now in the number two position. Hopefully we can make that challenge and beat them today. Digger, they have a great forward in Keith Wilkes. You made the comment that you were really concerned about his play. Well, he always plays well. You know, against the Maryland game, he, he fouled out with 3.51 to go, and Maryland got back in the game. And then the same thing against North Carolina State. He tops stopped Thompson and then he scored 27 points so this is what we're worried about with him. All right going to get back to your team. That's okay. the boss of the Irish Digger Phelps. That's our scouting report for today. We'll be back with the introduction of the starting lineups after this pause for station identification. This is the TVS television network. There are killers on the loose dressed like cops. And they're out to get Inspector Harry Callahan. Harry's always around with the action. They call him Dirty Harry, and he's back. This time his world is dirtier than ever. Clint Eastwood, Magnum Force, rated R. Now playing at Man's Chinese, Hollywood, Cinema, Crest, Westwood, and Rosecrans Drive-In Paramount. Everything you've heard about us Miami girls is true. We're always on the move. I'm Judy, and I was born to fly. Fly me to Houston. National has non-stop DC-10s every day. Or fly me to New Orleans on the only DC-10s. You can fly me morning, afternoon, or night. Just say when. I'm Judy, and I was born to fly. Fly me. Fly Judy. Fly National. It's here, the Winston Western 500 for Grand National Stock Cars and Drivers. Sunday, January the 20th, Riverside International Raceway. KTLA 5, Los Angeles. And now introducing the starting lineups for today's game. The national defending champion at guard. Here from Tallahassee, Florida, Tommy Curtis. And a 6'5 junior from East Chicago, Indiana, number 25, Pete Turgovich. At forward for UCLA, number 34, a 6'7 and a half junior from La Habra, California, Dave Myers. And the 6'7 senior All-American from Santa Barbara, number 52, Keith Wilkes. At center for UCLA, 6'11 senior from La Mesa, California, All-American Bill Walton. Coach of the UCLA Bruins, John Wooden. Fighting Irish 
coach of Notre Dame. At one guard, number 15, a six-foot junior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dwight Clay. Number 25, a 6'3 junior from New Brunswick, New Jersey, Gary Brokaw. At forward for the Irish, co-captain, a 6'7 senior from LaSalle, Illinois, Gary Novak. And a 6'5 freshman from Washington, D.C., number 44, Adrian Dantley. Center for the Irish 6'9 junior from Elizabeth, New Jersey, John Shoemate. Coach of the Notre Dame Irish, Richard Digger Phelps. And we'll have the opening tip off for today's game in just 60 seconds. I'm Jimmy the Greek. Every morning, some guys make a lousy bet. They bet on a close shave with plain foam. Watch. The first swipe takes most of your foam with it. On the second pass, your blade is almost on its own. Some comfort. But Edge is gel that turns to foam. Your eye can't see it, but Edge lays down a carpet of lubrication that glides your blade, stroke after stroke, closer with comfort. That's why I make the odds five to two. You shave closer with Edge. Once upon a time, there was the Track 2 and the Schick Super 2. Now Track 2 got a fast start, but the Schick Super 2 took its time. The Schick Super 2 was also made to fit all twin-bladed razors, but with spachromium edges for super safe shaves. And now that the Schick Super 2 has all that going for it, who would you put your money on? Well, I'm very enthusiastic about the XL100. It tracks extremely well from high to low brightness levels in all types of scenes. These TV service technicians rate new RCA XL100 color TVs. I'm noticing watching the XL100 that the definition was real sharp. This new RCA XL100 chassis has one of the sharpest and clearest pictures I've ever seen. More independent TV service technicians own RCA than any other color TV. The XL100 is a serviceman's dream. Is this the day? UCLA, 88 straight wins. They've not lost in three years. Seven consecutive national titles. They meet the Irish, the last team to beat UCLA. That was almost three years to the day, 89-82. The officials today, from the Big Ten, Richard Weiler and George Solomon. Weiler will throw the ball in the air and will be underway in just a moment. I'm sure we'll see Keith Wilkes being defended by Gary Novak, the best defensive player on Notre Dame's team. Wilkes is certainly a key like Walton. They both stand 6'7". Walton easily gets the tip. Remember, Walton is playing not at 100%. He has a corset to protect that bruise back. We'll introduce the players to you and the matchups. Curtis 22, Turgovich 25. That's Myers open. He'll take the 15-footer, and UCLA leaves. Well, here's the UCLA press where they use Big Dave Myers up front. They'll use Tommy Curtis in the middle on this 2-1-2 two -two press. Both men have tremendous wing spread, and they're tough to get around. That's Dantley all the way. Shoemate. Dantley. High wing. On a straight second effort. He was intimidated by Walton on the first play, but came right back and got it with a tremendous second effort. Dantley has hooked the name on the board. Not many teams are able to get a third chance at that end, but Dantley and Shoemate kept them in going, and Walton is bleeding from the mouth, and time has been called. Walton is bleeding from a cut inside the mouth. We played less than one minute here in South Bend. The game is tied. Notre Dame 2, UCLA 2. If you want to fly, you better take the time to do it right. It's the same with beer. We brew Pabst Blue Ribbon slowly and carefully. It takes a lot of time, but this is the moment when it... Pabst Blue Ribbon. 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 Pabst
that's good old time The way beer was meant to be Ten. Ten basketball players said ten. You take away two, you get eight. That's eight out of ten. In every major college and junior college tournament last year, with everything on the line, eight out of ten players wore Converse All-Star basketball shoes. Tall ones, short ones, almost all ones, eight out of ten wore All-Stars. Converse All-Stars, eight out of ten. Con Converse All-Stars. Nineteen seventy-three was a big year for TV. Shows up for Emmy Award consideration in this. One of these, the USA China basketball special from Peking, originally aired in June, and you'll see highlights from that at halftime today. So stay with us. It's a very special halftime feature. Walton is okay, although he continues to bleed from the lip. That's Curtis. He can't hit. Rebound, Shoemaker. He's trying to be rough underneath. I think that. And Walton got the elbow in the mouth from Shoemate on that second effort, and then Danley picked it up and got the field goal. One thing you don't want to do is get the big redhead man. He stays in there. That's Dwight Clay. Walton rips down the rebound. It's tied at two. A minute and a half played. 11,400 a sellout here at the Athletic and Convocation Center at Notre Dame. Wilkes stolen by Novak, but Wilkes gets it back with those quick hands. Fans wanted a turnover. Myers is all alone to make it four to two. Had a nice pass from Wilkes. He went baseline right side and just dropped it right down to Myers cutting for the layup. Myers, a member of a very big family. He has ten brothers and sisters. Dantley going to the iron. Couldn't hit. Blocked by Walton. Fans wanted a foul. The officials are letting him play, and that's good. I've been very surprised the way Notre Dame is carrying the ball right to Walton. They're challenging the big guy, and that time he made a great block. Good play, and Notre Dame with a chance to tie. Dwight Clay, Curtis hawking him. Dantley outside, just a freshman from Washington, D.C. Clay, the quarterback. Dantley, an excellent shooter. So is Novak, and he goes for his first shot. Make it Brokaw. Gary Brokaw, who is hitting nearly 65% of his field goal tries, ties it up at four. Wilkes all alone to kiss one in off the glass. A typical Johnny Wooden coach player from the side. They use the backboard. Smooth as silk. Well, he's a great all-around player and surprisingly a strong player. A lot of people, I think, think that Keith Wilkes is not strong because of his slender build, but he'll fool you. Novak, the only senior on the floor for Notre Dame. Shoemate ties it up. That's exactly what the Irish are going to have to do. Bring Shoemate outside. He's a capable shooter from 15 feet out. If they can pull Walton away, that certainly would enhance their chance of victory. Shoemate, the leading Notre Dame scorer, averaging 22 a game. Myers to Wilkes. Mismatch on Clay, and Wilkes cashes it in with his second hoop. It's 8-6 to six, UCLA. Three and a half minutes gone. Well, here again, the, the pressure zone. They got Turgovich and Myers up front. Wilkes in the middle this time and Curtis and Walton back. Trying to beat that 10 second count in the pass does it. Brokaw open for the 18 footer. Dantley with a rebound over Walton. And was there a whistle foul on Walton? Here it is in slow motion. Actually the foul occurred right here on the bump for the body. Big Bill puts his arms up over his head, spreads out, but then he put the belly into the man and got the foul. We played nearly four minutes, and that is the first foul of the game. Trigger man is Clay. Dantley. Shoemate. Tie game. Eight apiece. Well, he can really fire from outside. John Shoemate. Six feet nine with an excellent outside touch. A steal by Dantley. The Irish have a chance to go in front for the first time. Foul on Wilkes as he took the fake, and that is the first on Wilkes, second on UCLA. A quick fake. Well, look at that. It got him in the air. Wilkes committed himself in right there contact as Dantley moved sharply to his left. That's a credit to Dantley's ability because not many men are able to get Wilkes off his feet that way. And we recall the, the great job that Keith Wilkes did against David Thompson, the great All-American at North Carolina State, when he held him to 17 while scoring 27. 
Shoe made again. And Walton up high in the crowd to gather in the rebound. It's tied at eight. Long pass for Myers. He'll take the 10-footer. And Myers leading UCLA with six points. It's a 10 to eight Bruin lead. Boy, he is really aggressive. Six, seven, playing up front on that press, and he really attacks uh, that ball. And defensively, he just really aggressively moves. Dwight Clay, Curtis on him. The two smallest men, Shoemate and Walton, well, traveling on Shoemate. No basket. Shoemate, in maneuvering toward the hoop, shuffled his feet. Some people call that intimidation. The big redhead was right over his back. Shoemate is two inches shorter than Walton. Play with a body, and that's the first foul against Notre Dame. It comes with five minutes gone, and the score 10 to 8 UCLA. Considering how rough it can get underneath, that's kind of a thin one, but uh, the officials uh, perhaps feeling they got to maintain that kind of checking control outside. I would think that's uh, the big reason they make a call like that, to keep control of the game, because naturally this is the game of the year. That was a double dribble, but no one picked it up. Wilkes makes the 17-footer. Wilkes had dribbled one stop and dribbled again, but no one caught it, except the fans over there in the Irish student body. And Digger Phelps caught it. He was up on the floor, but no avail. Both teams will use almost uh, strictly the man-to-man -man defense. Shoemate. Walked again. Phelps pleading with the officials, a 32-year-old Ryder College graduate. He is rebuilding the Notre Dame basketball program, and he's got them in the number two spot in the country going into this game. Turgovich first shot. Look at that, Myers and Turgovich get in the air, but the ball comes out to Clay. Brokaw with him. Clay from 20. Way off the mark. Foul on Curtis, pushing. And I believe it will be a shooting foul. Well, he was in the act of shooting. Not a good percentage shot. They did not have good rebound position, and uh, took the shot a little out of his range, Dwight Clay, but Curtis moved into him and got the foul on the wrist, so it'll be two shots for Dwight Clay. And we remember... Uh, Last year, that great shot he threw Dick from the corner to beat and snapped Marquette's 81-game home winning streak from the corner at the buzzer. He has won some big games late. Ohio State and Pittsburgh victories by Notre Dame came on Clay's shots in the final seconds. He's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Went to Fifth Avenue High School. This should be a good matchup all afternoon. Clay against uh, Tommy Curtis. Both playmakers for their respective front. Typical enthusiastic home crowd. The officials are getting a lot of help. Shoemate almost steals. That means Walton is free, but Dantley alertly picked him up. High pass, and what a play. Oh, my. He excels at that move. Watch this. Beautiful high pass, and look at this. Right up the top, he grabs it, lays it up and in. Dantley had him well covered. Novak was there, too. Just a matter of a perfect pass and great timing. 6'11 against 6'5, and Walton just dropped it in like a feather. That should answer any questions about the health of Bill Walton. He didn't uh, respond like a man with a bad back on that play. Wilkes with a near steal. Dantley able to score it anyway. Like a praying mantis. He picked that one right up off the floor, went on his knee and threw it up. Four points for Dantley. The score, 14-11, UCLA. Walton coming higher, and nice. Turgovich is free. What a play. Beautiful pass. Walton hooked it right down to him. We'll take the backdoor play on as Turgovich goes down the middle. Watch the pass from Walton. Perfect hook right in the lane. Turgovich away from his man for the layup. And Clay fouled him, apparently. A chance for the three-pointer for Pete Turgovich. But we're going to have a timeout first. Timeout, 13 minutes remaining in the first half. UCLA 16, Notre Dame 11. I like Lou that he has never lost a game while playing his collegiate career at UCLA. He was a member of the undefeated freshman team with Lee and Bill Walton, and they've never lost in college. And that is the motivation of this team. They'd like to be the first group ever to go through an entire four years in college without losing a game. Lee with a steal, and the foul is on Martin for trying to get it back. Now Martin will get, get the call here. Here's the play. Greg Lee knocking the ball away, and then right here's the contact. Martin pushing him away, trying to get to the ball first. Greg Lee, an 80% free throw shooter, 16 of 20 on the year. He's been the Bruins' best free throw shooter as a sophomore and again last year as a junior. Very bright young man and an outstanding uh, wit. He uh, keeps him loose with his sharp barbs. 
You mentioned uh, the great assist game he had against uh, Memphis State last year in the finals, defeating his buddy Walton. I think anybody could have had a great assist night there, uh, Dick. Walton went 21 out of 22. The only one he missed was a good one, too. Yeah, <laughs> they took away uh, uh, a duck on him. Yeah, which you're not allowed to do in college basketball. The four free throws give the Bruins that nine-point lead again. 17, 16, 15 seconds remaining. We'll watch the clock for you. That's Dantley with 10. Paterno with eight. Martin with seven. Brokaw with five. Shoemate with four. Can't hit. Two, one. And there's the buzzer. The first half comes to an end. And with it, Dantley and Walton bump shoulders. And Walton smiles. And Dantley in anger spins away. That is the end of the first half here at the Athletic Center at Notre Dame University with a score. UCLA 43, Notre Dame 34. We'll be back in a moment with highlights of the China-USA basketball special. Here comes the moment when you put it on the line. It doesn't come easy, but it's a good thing. Yes, a good thing. It takes a lot of time. It's the same with beer. That's good old-time flavor. That's how it's meant to be. Ribbon flavor. That's the ribbon beer. The way beer was meant to be. That date with Janie. Your first big interview. The class reunion. Funny, seems like those times when you really wanted a good close shave, your old double-edge razor gave you a nick or cut. We understand. That's why we made the Wilkinson Bonded. An edge of incredible keenness is locked in a unique protective shaving head. The Bonded blade shaves you closer. The head helps protect you from nicks and cuts. The Wilkinson Bonded. A closer shave doesn't have to hurt. Our halftime festivities will begin in just a minute. But first, let's pause for station identification. This is the TVS Television Network. shampoo head and shoulders come on my dandruff isn't that bad use it regularly and you keep that dandruff problem under control what about your hair it's great for your hair i use it all the time hey look at the suds well handball king what about the head and shoulders well i play like a winner and i look like a winner <laughs> nothing changes faster than television today the whole television news picture is in process of revision the way news is gathered and distributed and reported is being constantly changed and improved. Much of that improvement and change is being accomplished in the news network center of KTLA Channel 5. And I invite you to join me, Cleet Roberts, at 10 o'clock for World News on Channel 5. Hello, I'm Simon, and I just dropped in to remind you that the Arthritis Telethon will be here at KTLA February 2nd, starting at midnight. I hope to see you. Play TV5, Los Angeles. Forty-three, thirty-four. UCLA leads Notre Dame first half, and we have an exciting 20 minutes ahead, and it's been an exciting year for TVS, and here's the guy who makes it go, the president, Eddie Einhorn, and it's been from South Bend to Moscow to Peking for you. It's been quite a year, uh, Dick, in 73 especially, and I'm very happy that... We've been nominated for Emmy consideration. Three different shows, our USA, USSR, primetime series, our World University Games from Moscow, and then, of course, my favorite, you were there with me, our USA-China basketball special, which was aired in June. We've had so many requests to see parts of that great show, an historic show again, that we're going to play some highlights of it right now and again on next week's UCLA Notre Dame game. Let's do that right now. From South Bend, Indiana, half a world away, let's go to Peking, China. A men and women's basketball team from the United States of America crossed the famed border bridge into the People's Republic of China for the first formal team sports competition between these two great countries. Included in the delegation of 52 was a six-man team from TVS. This is Peking, capital of the People's Republic of China. Hello, 
I'm Dick Enberg, and for the next 90 minutes, it's our extreme pleasure to bring you highlights of this first ever historic tour, first competition between China and the United States in basketball, men's and women's basketball, represented by a collegiate all-star team coached by Memphis State coach Gene Bartow and the AAU women's champions from John F. Kennedy College in Wahoo, Nebraska. Highlights of that action, as well as the sights and sounds of this magnificent city, its great country, and its people. To my right, in this, the People's Square, the Square of Heavenly Peace, is the museum, the People's Museum. Beyond me, tributes to those monuments, those who fought in the cause of the revolution. And to this side of the square, the Great Hall of the People. And beyond me is the Imperial Palace. In this, the largest populated country in the world, over 800 million people, this Peking University for Physical Culture is the top university for the teaching of sports, athletics, and physical education. There are approximately 1,000 students here, men and women, as young as 13, as old as in the mid-20s. It is here that the American teams, basketball, women's, and men enjoy demonstrations in badminton, ping pong, gymnastics, athletics, basketball itself, and swimming certainly one of the highlights of our trip to this capital of the People's Republic of China. This is just a small and a simple gymnasium here at the Physical Culture Institute on the outskirts of Peking. It, it really is kind of an unlikely stage for one of the highlights of our trip. These handsome young boys and girls are just 13 through 17 years of age are performing the ancient art of Chinese boxing. As you can see, this one-time secret sport combines aspects of gymnastics, ballet, and combat. Let's watch and enjoy. Total body and mind concentration to allow the body and mind to become one. That is the purpose of these exercises. How about that for hand-eye coordination? And foot. serious faces. You're going to enjoy the smiles that will come out of those faces later. They're beautiful children. Almost as if the young man and the weapon are one. I just can't believe this one. Here is where each of the young athletes has to be exact in his process because those are lethal weapons that they're wielding. In the integration with the combat form, ballet, and gymnastics. By the way, you know, this is another feature that has never been shown on television outside China. This whole trip has provided us uh, with so many unique experiences and we're so pleased that we can share them with you tonight on TBS.
fitting finale now. These are the beautiful young ladies at the Physical Culture Institute. After an incredible performance like that, all I can say on behalf of all of the Americans is thank you in Chinese. Xie xie. Xie xie. We'll return with more highlights of the USA China special right after this important message. Faster than words this week on the movie for a Sunday evening, Bounty Killer, starring Dan Durier, Rod Cameron, and Audrey Dawn. Everybody, you two are cut out for that. It isn't killing we want to do. <laughs> what kind of idiots are you? Life is cheap. Or high. See the bounty. It's safe. Foamy, 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 how we love you, how we love you. Rich foamy, it shaves you close, close. shaves you close and smooth and even foamy. You're the good, thick, rich foamy, as soft a shave as you'll ever get. Comes with foamy by Gillette. at United Airlines. Friendship service. The friend is... Have you seen the other side? It's people making sure your trip goes smooth and easy. Da, 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 taking da, da, care of your things like we take care of our own. Got so much to give. Mother country. Looking after your comfort every step of the way. Don't let your good land pass you by. Pass you by. Friendship service. Ba, 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 good reason more people choose the friendly skies than any other airline in the land. Proud beneath the skies. Come along, sing the song. People, now's the time. And here's the big moment we've been waiting for. The historic first meeting in international sports competition between the United States of America and the People's Republic of China. This is Capital Gymnasium in Peking, the largest arena in all of China. 18,000 fans to see this much publicized competition. And there they are, high atop the gymnasium, the flags of the two countries, the USA and the People's Republic of China. They have never been closer than tonight. And let us all hope for all people that that site tent of this world's future. Well, the opening ceremonies are about to begin, so let's go down to the floor of arena. Presentation of the colors for China, Chung To Wei, who wears number seven, and we understand a very fine shooter. And for the United States University of Kentucky sophomore, Kevin Grevy. Following the U.S. flag, there's uh, the head coach of the women, George Nicodemus, then the men's coaches, Gene Bard Hopkins. Hopkins, a former all champion at Grambling, is now the head coach at Xavier of Louisiana. In a moment, they'll form in opposite lines for the exchange of gifts. You see the athletes carrying them in the outside hand. And we understand that to add even more significance to this great night, we're going to be honored with a surprise visit from Chang Ching, Madame Mao Zedong, whose reputation is that of being not that friendly to the Western world. The pomp and circumstance as we're about to get into the basketball action, which will follow immediately. And of course, this, all the color and pageantry, the excitement that goes with this visit. And I know the athletes have been waiting a long time for this big night. 
Yes, and there she is, Chang Ching, the People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong. She, along with her top sympathetic aide, Yao Wen Yuan, are being escorted to the court by Dr. David Dirge, president of Southern Illinois University and the head of the U.S. delegation. We understand that Madame Mao is wearing a dress for the very first time in 24 years, since 1949, the year of the revolution. And you know this is as very significant political importance, fans. Madame Mao and Mr. Wen Yuan immediately behind her are reputed to be the leaders of the most radical wing of the party, the least friendly to us. And for them to be here tonight to officially greet the United States team is in essence a form of overt political acknowledgement by the more radical element of the party. And, and then for Chang Ching to wear a dress too and a white shoulder purse, a definite Western look, well, that's an even more obvious gesture that seems to say, yes, we want all in the world to know that we, too, support Chairman Mao and Prime Minister Cho and Lai's welcome, and that we, too, wish for understanding and friendship between China and the United States. And as you can see, uh, everyone impressed with the height of the United States team members, especially Rich Kelly, the seven-footer there at the far end of the men's line. The rest of the official Chinese party greeting the American athletes. The tall gentleman on the left is the chief of the U.S. liaison office in China, David Bruce, uh, the white-haired gentleman just going up the stairs now. He just recently arrived in Peking. And we're set to go. The 18,000 fans who were allowed to enter the gymnasium just 30 minutes ago continue their rhythmic applause to the music as the teams now hand-in-hand hand will file off. We understand the admission for this historic game that could have attracted more than 100,000 fans if seats were available were priced at 10, 20, and 30 chow, or 5, 10, and 15 cents American money. Isn't that a great sight? As the Chinese banners decorating the gymnasium read, long live the friendship between the people and sportsmen of China and the other countries of the world. In Chinese, sure, sure. As you ladies and gentlemen say, we can number ones at Notre Dame to complete that exciting moment for all of you here at the convention center today, and that is Tom McEwen, the Tampa who is the president of the Foundation to make a award. Within but a few minutes after the last bowl game was sectional award. Football Riders of America made its decision on which team was the national intercollegiate football champion for 19. <laughs> the vote was, and the vote was quick. It was Notre Dame, and here's the Grantland Rice Trophy to prove it. great deal of respect for the knowledge and the abilities of the football writers, so this is <laughs> But on behalf of our football team, our coaching staff, the alumni, our student body, we much we're real proud of This portion of today's game is being brought to you by the Prudential Insurance Company of America. Protect your family and your future with a piece of the rock. Prudential Insurance. Nowadays, everybody has his share of little unexpected expenses, and most of us can handle them. But what about the big money problems you know the future will bring? Like family income if you're not here to provide it, education for the kids, or your retirement. I need help. I gotta have help. Me too. That's why I got a piece of the rock. Prudential life insurance. Same here. For big expenses. That's what my piece of the rock is for. And these people aren't alone. Today, more people are picking the life insurance company for family financial protection that's guaranteed. 
You handle the little things. And Prudential Insurance will help you get ready for the big ones. Protect your family and your future. With the peace of the rock. Prudential. And we're ready to go. Second half. UCLA and Notre Dame. We'd like to remind you at halftime of next week's Notre Dame UCLA game, we will present more highlights of the USA China basketball special from Peking, including game action, a visit with the famed pandas of Peking, and a trip to the Great Wall of China. First half statistics are official. Here well, the UCLA Bronze hit an incredible 70% of the shots from the field. They hit 19 of 27 tries. Curtis. Tommy, Tommy Curtis had two field goals and four tries. Turkovich two for four. Bill Walton hit six out of Dave Myers was four, five for five. Keith Wilkes four field goals and seven tries. The Bruins also were perfect at the free throw line with five of five there. They had 16 rebounds to Notre Dame's 13. Leading real rebounder was Bill Walton with six. For the Irish, they hit 14 of 32 field goals. Dwight Clay had one field goal and three tries for five points. Gary broke off four for eight from the field, two free throws for 10 points. Gary Novak would fail to connect from the field in two tries. Adrian Dantley was three for six and one for one at the line. He had seven points. John Chu made four of 11 from the field. He had four rebounds and eight points in the first half as the Irish hit 43%. They were six of nine from the free throw line, 66%. The Irish had 13 rebounds, Shoemate and Dantley Turkovich gets the tap away in the second half. Only three fouls. He has the ball now. Tommy Curtis of UCLA. Walton inside. Back to Curtis. Free for the 22-footer. Rebound. Dantley, as Shoemate did a good job of screening Walton away from that rebound. Keep him away, uh, well, in particular, off the offensive board. He's going to get rebounds. But when you give him that second and third shot off that offensive end, that's where you get hurt. Clay can't hit. He's way out the mark. Dantley follows it. Oh, misses an easy There's there with a rebound. He missed that one because he rushed it. Uh, he saw Walton there, and he tried to get it away too quick. Ray Martin, who did not start the game, is starting the second half. The freshman number 21, he batted it away. Notre Dame has never led. UCLA once owned a 17-point lead with six minutes left in the half. Notre Dame rallied to within five before UCLA canned four free throws in the to take the nine-point lead, 3-34. Walton inside. He's five for five from the field. And there's his first shoemate. There, and the Irish have a throws it away. Clay lost the handle. You can see the ball spinning in his hand. He did not have control. He didn't go to the scoring side either. He went to uh, his running mate, Martin. He had Broco open on the left side, a good shooter. UCLA turns it right back as Myers fires a shot right through the hands of Walton. Here's the pass. Big Bill wanted to go right up with it, but before he had possession, the ball went right through his hands. He tried to shoot it before he caught it. I think he was anticipating that soft lob, and he got a fastball high and inside. <laughs> First strike. Shoemate to Martin. Martin and Clay, the backcourt, broke off a wing. Shoemate underneath, and of course, Dantley and Shoemate revolving that high-low post. Shoemate, Walton coming out on him. Brokaw gets Myers in the air, free for the 10-footer. Great move. Myers actually, actually made contact, but it didn't hurt the play, so he went ahead and followed and got the shot. Myers can't hit, and it goes out of bounds to Notre Dame over the top. For the Irish, with a chance, off the top of the second half to pull within five once again. Brokaw now with 12 points, the leading And it's gone second half. Sell out of over 11,000. They could have sold tickets for this game. Shoemate is short. Foul on Dantley underneath. Offensive foul, his second. That foul occurred just as Shoemate pulled out to the high post to take the turnaround jump shot. Dantley, 225-pounder at 6'5", so he can use that muscle to good advantage underneath. Wilkes, he hasn't been free very often. 10-footer not is to make it 45-36. It's a helpless uh, chore to try and stop him. Shoemate was pinned under the board. 
And Walton got good position from the angle on the left side and easily got the tip in. You made with Walton. Play. Martin and Curtis. Broke on Wilkes. Brokaw now Myers on a switch. Dantley over Wilkes. Shoemate. Good play. He had to go over Walton to make it. And again, as he did in the first half, he leaned into Walton and got the shot away. Turnover. Shoemate. The other way. And this crowd is in a frenzy as Brokaw is fouled not by Walton, but by Turgovich. It happens early. Now here's the play. Here's the drive by Brokaw. Watch Walton go up and snap it away. But the foul occurred by the low man. Turgovich on the play. And going to the line will be Brokaw for two free throws. Again, the quickness like a cat. Bill Walton to knock it down and to prevent what probably would have been a three-point play. He had the opening to go for the shot. Timeout. Remaining in the game, UCLA. I have Notre Dame, 38. For the week. First, my kid wanted to play wagon train, so he hitched the puppy to the coffee table. Now, well, what's a new coffee table? Yeah, found a big rock in my backyard. Found it with my mower. Good old TV. Everything turning green before it went black. Just a few little tubes, really. Yeah, I'm up to here with unexpected everyday expenses, but I manage. It's the big important things like protection for my family if I'm not around, college expenses, that's where I need help. And I've got it with my piece of the rock, Prudential Life Insurance. I'm not alone either. People are picking Prudential than any other life insurance company for guarantee. For life's big money. The little sure glad I've got to help for the big And your future. Prudential Insurance. College basketball. series on television featuring every major conference and independent exciting college basketball Saturday afternoon right here on yes and of course a rematch from Los Angeles post Notre Dame and seven the line Gary Brokaw to shoot a pair We're from, uh, three years February 23rd at 71 In that game, Austin Carr had 17 field guys.